horror movie tells the story of Karen, a racist white woman who terrifies a black family after they move into her neighbourhood. Because you know the one conversation that society as a whole has neglected in recent years? How racist white people are. Literally no one ever talks about it. Tell me about your new neighbours. They're black. Do you mind keeping it down? Apparently after committing a series of microaggressions against the black couple, Karen ends up trying to kill them. We are living next door to... A racist. Bad things happen to people that don't comply. Actor Taryn Manning, who plays the role of Karen, declared that she felt a social responsibility to play the villain to affect change around the globe. What's been going on is devastating. It's time for change and for me to be part of the bigger picture. Really? You see, what I think's more devastating than some fictional stereotype based on a meme is six straight months of violent BLM rioting that left dozens of people dead, small businesses reduced to ash, and two billion dollars in damages. Largely peaceful demonstrations. Is a 32% spike in homicides in major cities like like New York, Dallas, and Chicago over the last year. It's one single weekend of Juneteenth mass shootings across seven states that left multiple people dead and dozens injured. Is a white woman in New Jersey who joined the Juneteenth celebration being viciously beaten by a mob. Is a gunman in Georgia and Alabama who was involved in three separate shootings before telling police he deliberately sought to hunt down white men. Is a Puerto Rican mother of two in Chicago being dragged out of her vehicle and executed on the street. Apparently, now it's racist to identify the perpetrators of violent crime. But let's just say Yasmin Perez wasn't murdered by a Karen. Turns out none of this was carried out by some racist white woman called Karen. Well, imagine my shock. Imagine my surprise that the hashtag Stop Asian Hate campaign suddenly went quiet when all the perpetrators of the violent crime against Asians were revealed. You see, movies like Karen are required to amplify the narrative that white people represent the biggest violent threat in America. Because real life kind of suggests the opposite is true. The reality is such a 180 to that portrayed in the Karen movie. That fact-checking organisations like the Pointer Institute are now demanding that local news stations drastically reduce their coverage of local crime stories. Why? Because reporting on them fuels systemic racism. So reporting on the true nature and identity of the perpetrators of violent crime might make people more racist. Gee, I wonder why that could be. They're black. We didn't do anything! So I guess better to just bury the truth or ignore it altogether and pretend it doesn't exist. If black lives matter, why are you telling news organisations to ignore violent crime? the victims of which are predominantly black. Who's the racist now? What's funny is that part of the agenda behind this Karen movie was to rile up white conservatives. Yet it's only succeeded in angering leftists and BLM supporters, its intended audience. Oof, look at that ratio. Because thanks to the Biden administration and the media, they're all living under this delusion that violent white supremacists are running amok everywhere. The top domestic violent extremist threat comes from the white race. So now they're all having anxiety attacks on social media over this Karen film. They made a movie about what black people that live next to racists have to actually endure every day for entertainment. They love profiting of black trauma. They really want us to watch more black trauma porn. Yeah. They want you to watch it on a movie screen because it's not happening on any scale in reality. It's less art imitates life and more art imitates shite. Hollywood producers are all clamouring to mimic Jordan Peele's Get Out movie. Producers keep trying to bait audience with this fake narrative that violent white supremacists are running around everywhere killing black people. But if you actually tallied a list of names of criminals responsible for rising violent crime and hate crime in America. Just a hunch, but my bet is that Karen is not going to appear very high on that list. They're black. Isn't it interesting that stereotypes are the worst thing you could possibly dare think about portraying in a Hollywood movie? Except for white people stereotypes, then it's literally open season. She doesn't like black people. I guess having white privilege means you're the only ethnicity that the entertainment industry can ruthlessly and consistently belittle, denigrate, demonize and mock. So privileged. It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.